In this short video, we take a look at one way in which we can describe or visualize data, that is, with the use of what are called line graphs. The following line graph, taken from Statista, represents housing construction dips in the U.S. And you see the line actually tells a story. We are given that the number of new privately owned housing units started in the U.S. in thousands is represented by this line graph. Now I have two things we want to first talk about. Let's interpret what is actually going on. Let's fill in the blank. The horizontal axis represents what? So when we look on this line graph, what does that horizontal axis represent? Well, we're going to look here horizontally, and we can see that the horizontal axis actually represents months of the year between January 2020 to January 2021. And so we would say that the horizontal axis represents the months of the year from January 2020 to January 2021. Now what about the vertical axis? The vertical axis here has numbers on it. And where can we determine what those numbers are? Well, it tells us right here in the description. The number of new privately owned housing units in thousands started in the U.S. That's what the vertical axis represents. So the vertical axis represents the number of new privately owned housing units started in the U.S. in thousands. And that's important. Again, I want to emphasize in thousands, okay? So when you see the number 500, it's actually representing 500,000, okay? Just to get that note in. Well, let's look at two questions regarding this line graph. Here's my first question. So a good estimate of the number of new privately owned housing units started in the U.S. in October of 2020 is what? So a good estimate of the number of new privately owned housing units started in the U.S. in October of 2020 is what? What would be a good estimate of the number of houses started in the U.S. in October 2020? How would we go about answering that question? Well, we're going to start with October of 2020, which is given to us, and that's an object along the horizontal axis. October 2020. And if we want to get a good estimate, well, we're going to look at where October meets the line graph, and it's very, very close to 1,500. But remember, that's in thousands. And so we could say that a good estimate of the number of new privately owned housing units would be 1,500,000, ,000, or if we like, 1,500,000. Again, 1,500 is the number that corresponds to the line approximately, but we have to put our answer in thousands, which means we add three zeros to the end. How about that last question now? In what month was the lowest number of privately owned housing units started in the U.S.? So I'm just going to erase my graph, start fresh, and consider in what month was the lowest number of new privately owned housing units started. Well, how do we get the lowest number? Well, we're looking at the line graph, and the lowest number is going to be the one that's closest to zero, correct? And so it looks like right here at this minimum point right here on the graph will correspond to the lowest the excuse me the lowest number of privately owned housing units and that corresponds to the month of April of 2020 and so the answer to the second part then would be April 2020 now that was just a very brief look at line graphs, but as you go through and do your homework, hopefully you get the hang of this and you actually start to have fun with analyzing data in this way.